We're gonna do it. Are we? We're gonna try to do it. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jonathan. I'm Ashley. And we're Tiny Shiny Home. For those of you who don't know, we live off-grid in Arizona and are building our homestead from the ground up. That's right. And our first building is our Hyper Adobe Solar Shed office. We started this office about four months ago, only working on weekends, and it's taking forever. Finishing this office is going to allow us to start our house sooner, mm -hmm. so we're doing something crazy. We're going to spend the next 30 days working on this Hyper Adobe building every single day and making a video every single day. And we're gonna bring you along for the ride. So let's talk about our rough plan. What are we trying to get done in 30 days? We are trying to get the walls completely up, mm -hmm. windows in, mm -hmm. door on, roof on. Okay, so all sealed up and sealed in. Yeah. This, this doesn't mean that we'll have it all cobbed and we'll have everything furnished by the end of 30 days. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. Probably won't even have a floor. No, but we are going to work on this every day because doing earth bag building, it's just a lot of manual labor. And it's going to take some time, but we're going to get it done. We're going to do it. Are we? We're going to try to do it. <laughs> days of solar shed day one what are we doing today today we are working on the next course but we're also installing our electrical boxes right so we're let's explain our courses yes because we're going to number them but it may be confusing so so we're actually going to work on what we're going to call course number five which is five from the ground level which is kind of confusing because we actually have like four levels below that but right it's actually like bag eight but we're going to call it five yeah just because we got to start from the ground level because that's where we're measuring where the windows go and where right. the outlets go and all that stuff. So, so anyway, today, course number five. Course number five, we got to build all the electrical cleats. We got to finish that and cleats for the door too, for the yes. doorway. And Two. our chickens are laying eggs, you if can, you can hear them. <laughs> they are making the Very eggs loud. in the background. <laughs> all right, that's what we're going to try to get done today. You think we can get all the courses done oh, on, yeah. on the circle and the rectangle. Oh yeah, we might even do two courses today. <laughs> I don't think so. But uh, yeah. We'll see. Let's, let's, so. let's do it. The big hole in it. And we screwed in for electrical time. Yeah. Because it just breaks. <laughs> yeah, and that broke, and then I tried to drill it again, and it broke again, but it's okay, we don't need it. In our last video, you may have seen us struggle with some electrical outlets. <laughs> yes, we were trying to figure out because this building has power in it, but it also needs power out of it, we we're trying to figure out the best way to get exterior outlets mounted 
on the outside of it, but be able to run the power from the inside of the building to the outside. And also in a way that like it can't be pulled out of these bags. Right, because we have Dogs. puppies that like to chew on things and you never know. Somebody could come over and not know and yank on it and we just won't, don't want it just to slide out of the bags, right? So right. anyway, we finally figured out how to do it. We took two two by twos and we screwed them into the outlet box and then we took screws going up and down and really mounted it into that and then the bag sandwiched it in and they don't move. doing is we're sealing these plugs because the wires are going to come through the back of this box. These are the exterior plugs. These are the exterior plugs and it says in order to seal these holes, it came with caps or plugs, but it says you have to seal them with some kind of sealant. So we've got some silicone and we're just screwing them in here and getting them all watertight before we start smashing bags around them. Before we start smashing bags. Smashing bags, baby. Well, it's already one o'clock and we are not halfway done. Not at all. It's gonna be really hard to get a full course done every day. Yeah. We may not. Depends. Okay, so what else do we have to do? We have the rest of the office side to do and the whole Sir. cylinder. <laughs> well, not all of it, most of it. Yeah, most of it. Uh, it's a lot, but it's all like long runs. So it's just kind of, once we get in a groove, I think, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Maybe. We got a lot of work. Also, we got to go to the coffee shop. Yeah, we got to get to the coffee shop. They close at 2 o'clock, so we are on a timeline. Okay, let's go. Okay. Ready? Go. Day one was actually a really long day while we were trying to figure out how to mount the electrical boxes into the bags securely and position them where we want them without 
like really knowing what we were doing. And also having the bags go over these huge lumps, we never had to deal with that really up until this point. So yeah. that was a whole learning curve. It took like, was it all day? Like yeah. eight hours? Way too long. But we got the entire building, both the rectangle and the circle up one more course. Which course? That was course five. Course five. I don't know what else to say about that, but we did it. We did it. That's all we need to say. <laughs> and so tomorrow, we get to put another course up because we still have a few more courses before we can really do anything else major. We just got to get up to the next level. And you know what we get to do the next day? Go up another <laughs> level. And the next day. And go up another level. To wrap up the day, we were at 18 inches. So we put all our electrical boxes right at that height, which is pretty standard. And then it's a little bit high, but pretty standard. And then we went up to the next level. Our bags are about five inches. So we're at 23 inches, course five and we will see you tomorrow.